getting right on with it, this is Bad Cube Sun Surge. So the Masterpiece Pantheon keeps on piling up with longtime legends and diaclone doppelgangers, and it seems fairly content with its current quotient of Lamborghisas, having cut a sway the swipe types from the cloth of MP12. It seems a bit of a long shot they'll bother to build us another one from scratch. So for now, at least it's up to Bad Cube to bring us the other brother. Yes, indeed, this is Bad Cube Sun Surge from their ambitiously over engineered old timer series. And while he undeniably is the yellow fun bro we all know, he's ever so slightly stylized, bringing just a touch of industrial futurist edge to the established MP playbook. So check out this slinky streakmeister looking gregariously gorgeous and gracefully gallant. Bit of a lanky lover boy with legs going all the way up to his insane waist swivel and mental hips. Yes, indeed, he poses like an absolute acrobat and never doesn't not look unawesome. So, I mean, the torso does seem maybe a smidge underbulked, but it's definitely at least worth a high five for the sheer volume of bits and bobs jammed in there. Panels and joints and weapon storage concertina up there denser than bloody pinch on. It's pretty much perched on a pike there between these two fold out shoulder flaps. And I mean, it basically nails the look with these unmistakable sunstreaker ears. Sunstreak ears. There's just something a bit non specifically goofy about that gormless glare on these two foppish faces. Neck's a bit disturbing as well with that gory little gape gap. And I maybe would have enjoyed a freaky alternate Hunter O'Neill headmaster noodle, but that's just me. Arms are good and thumpy with a cheeky sideways duck face towers and some ballistic ball joints. Fairly standard knuckle hinged hands and a nice tasty double elbow action. And check out this pleasingly on brand handgun. Absolutely nails the uniform grey 80s indistinguishable zap weapon look. And it can even wear these chromy missiles like butt implants. Or you can have the hands do an expedient switcheroo and just stick them on there like punch dildos. But by volume, he's still probably about 80% legs. Kind of love how you can take the little Lambo feeties and step them up for your preferred feety flavour. Tilt's a bit of a toughie though, which is a real surprise considering how limber the rest of him is. Limborghini. But before we forget, let's box it up. Bankkeeper definitely smashing it on the design front with this tasty two-tone neo-minimalist mustard sandwich with like the killer clustered text and foiled up name. Class bit of character art and it's so refreshing to see a collector car that's not just trying to look like G1. Uh... And check out this tiny baby placky chip chase for some reason. Fry. Oh, I get it. Gotta love his little Chris Evans' Cyclops face and vague detail and super simplistic paint job like he just stepped off a train set. Pleasant enough little solid set wheelchair, but that leg just does not want to stay on. I really hope that's not intentional. So yeah, with his buttery colours and slinky styles, the robot mode's a total bro. Romo to bro. <laughs> Wow. So that's gotta be one of the fiddliest and overcomplicated ball eggs of a transformation in recent memory, as evidenced by the goddamn instruction novel. I mean, it's all very well thought out, and there's clearly an order to it, and God knows it shows off some pretty heavy tolerances, but just gonna say it, it's a bloody nightmare. It's a chore. It's not satisfying. It's unimaginably unintuitive. It is not fun. And this Lambo mode, turbocharged and objectively gorgeous as it may be, I'm just not sure if it's worth it. I mean, it is pretty perf overall, and it's a marvellous match for the fish position, but like, looking at it just reminds me of all the bits of transformation that piss me off. It's everything that wound me up about alternators, but all over again and ten years later. Oh yeah, Transformers are fun. Guess I'll throw away a hundred minutes of my life grappling with a smug one that hates me. But I mean, the car mode is nice. It looks the bomb in a two-shot or a team shot, and it is kind of rad with all the shinies. Yes, indeed, the gleamy-ass spoiler and shifty robot bug eyes definitely bring the bling. And you can bug the rifle on top there for a badass rooftop weapon jam, and you can even replace all the chrome bits with these flat matte alternatives. You know, if you're boring. So Sun Surge then, yes, he's good. My god, doesn't he know it? Definitely brings it pretty hard with an attractive and semi-original take on the old Sunstreaker shape and a flipping flawless alt mode. But it's kind of the same reason I can't get into like Necrophagist or Mastodon. I mean, it's obviously very technically accomplished and there's talent and thought on display. It's just so bloody pleased with itself. Not gonna say he's bad, it's just a touch too high maintenance for my tastes. I've got other stuff I want to do in my day. More like fun purge, am I right? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>